Aries, hi, my name is Anya Briggs. I'm a psychic medium and I'm here to deliver your energy reading for July 25th to August 1st, 2019. So here goes. Um, oh, and just so you know, I don't use divination tools if you're new here. I will sometimes use tarot card references for illustrative purposes or recommend crystals for that sort of thing, for different healing modalities. But uh, what you see is what you get. I'm, it's usually just me, myself, and I, and my guides working together on this. Um, I wanted to say that Aries is feeling unusually insecure this week. And I want to also say, don't worry, okay? It's gonna be fine. But the theme of the week is don't drain a whole filled boat. If that makes any sense to you, then good. Let me know in the comment section down below, or maybe you can share the video with someone it would apply to. But the insecurity comes from a place of not knowing. And what my guides are recommending is to research further, to use the carpenter's adage, measure twice, cut once. If that doesn't apply to you, that's fine. This is a general reading, so it won't apply to everyone. But it may very well apply to people who are, quote, in the dark, literally or figuratively. And I'm also seeing some of you might work in jobs where you are literally in the dark. So I don't know if that's you work for the electric company, if you work in, as a miner, if you work underground in tunnels or in sewer systems. And you, I'm seeing like a lot of um, those helmets with light, flashlights on them so you can see through literal dark tunnels not as a metaphor but as an actual like a uh, person who works on uh, you know sewer tunnels or energy lines of any kind um, what I'm also being shown is someone who works on telephone poles so a line man for an electric company or a telephone company or a cell phone company whatever that might be um, a uh, lot of physical labor going on. And I don't see that as a metaphor, I mean literally. So whomever this applies to, it would apply directly to your career and also your interpersonal relationships. So I don't, I don't know why you would be in crisis right now, Aries. I only know that it will get better soon. Within six days of this reading or whenever you see this, it usually should be cleared up. Obviously, if this doesn't apply to you, it doesn't apply to you. I'm only referring to the people it would apply to. Um, also to work on this theme of don't drain a whole filled boat is don't waste your time on lost causes. That's part of the reason for your insecurity right now. So you need to understand cause and effect as it comes to your personal choices lately. And don't feel guilty about pulling the plug metaphorically or even literally if I'm seeing like someone literally pulling a plug as part of their job. Um, uh, again, with plumbing or dealing with um, pipes, something to do with literal pipes, things that are inside walls and underground and above ground. Uh, that have to do with delivery systems as well would apply to whomever this message is for. Um, don't drain a whole filled boat in your life with people, places, and things that no longer serve you. I'm getting a lot of Aries people right now are having reckoning, along with a lot of other signs, but there's like this feeling of a day of reckoning. The day has come. The day of battle is here. It's, it's like they're showing me Rocky Balboa and he's preparing for his final fight of a lifetime. And this will prove whether or not he's a champion. And again, this may have something to do with the um, fighter energy, fight or die energy of Aries. They never say die. They're wonderful fighters in terms of boxing, um, in a literal rank. I'm not, I'm not getting that anyone here necessarily would be a professional boxer. I mean, they may enjoy sparring, but that's not what I'm referring to. Uh, but I am getting as a metaphor, the fight of your life may be in order. Uh, God forbid, I hope no one here is having a medical scare and this might be like a, a reference to the fight of your life for an illness. I'm seeing namely cancer, that the um, if you're just getting the test results back 
or there was a turn for the worse in your health, um, the person or persons this would relate to, I am getting, will feel better in a month or so. There may even be a false positive floating around. And, but regardless of what the outcome is, there will be a plan of attack in place by this time next month. And it won't be necessarily a, um, whatever the outcome is from the tests will not necessarily be like a, a death warrant or a death notice. Um, it could be that, uh, like I said, it could be a false positive, which is actually surprisingly common. I mean, it's not the most common thing on earth, but it does happen. And, uh, or with Mercury retrograde going direct and the sign of Mercury being direct, you may have gotten a false positive from the lab and then the test results come back and it's negative. Thank God, I'm getting this relief feeling. Phew, but if you are in cancer treatment or you are experiencing an ailment that's fairly serious or life-threatening, uh, you will get better. Whomever this message is for, if it's multiple parties or not, I'm feeling very strongly that this person has a never say die, and they're definitely an Aries, so they're equipped for the task. Um, never say die, attitude, fight, energy, approach, super positive, super good. And you always want Aries on your team. I'm getting in the work aspects of things. You want Aries to be around this month, especially, but also this week, especially during Mercury retrograde, because they can push through all that negative uh, magnetic energy that is seemingly pulling even magnetic forces apart. And they can be the superheroes of uh, all of that this month and really uh, keep all of that together. They really are the ones that are the glue in everything this month. And this week in particular, you're getting tired of being the glue for everybody's problems. So again, when it comes to the don't drain a whole filled boat reference, don't do other people's work for them. You're making more work for yourself, some of you Aries, and it needs to stop. Um, I'm also getting there's an earth element involved with some of you, a really ornery, uh, Capricorn, a goat, that's climbing up the mountain and climbing on your back to get ahead. So there may be some office competition going on or a work partner who you work with. If you work in an outdoors primarily job where you're in the field, they might be kind of a, um, a kiss up. Like they might be kind of a, an ass kiss, if you'll pardon the term. Um, they might um, be careerists, okay? And I'm really getting, if you're like a line man, this person is super competitive. They may not be so career oriented or interested in being the main man on the, in the group, but um, they are advancing and they're kind of cocky and arrogant about it. And it's kind of rubbing you the wrong way. Aries love competition and that's great, as long as it's healthy. If it's dirty, they don't like that. They have a code of ethics and they want to stick to it and they don't like when people play games that are malignant you know um so aries uh just keep your cool this summer i'm getting that there's some element of competition in the workplace that's not necessarily healthy nor needed it's like it's not necessary it's like the person's gilding a lily they're try hard kind of and that's their just understand the thing to keep your cool with someone like that and to not get behind a, a whole filled boat is to realize that that speaks louder about them than anyone else. It has nothing to do with you. It speaks volumes about their insecurity. It has nothing to do with you. And fortunately, since you're an Aries, you can take that information and run with it because you don't take things personally. But you are feeling the brunt of a lot of the effects of uh, Mercury retrograde. And this week, you might be oddly feeling a bit insecure. Just take it on the chin. It's all right, it will pass. Keep saying, this too shall pass. I know, <coughs> excuse me, I know I'm doing good. I can do this, I can do the work. I'm not gonna let these, pardon my French, assholes get the better of me. Um, I'd rather work on the line than do this stuff up front. I don't know what that means. That may have a, a significant personal meaning for one or more of you, but it, the feeling I'm getting from that phrase is you need to work harder, but also work smarter so you can get away from this person or element that is harming you or threatening to harm you or creating an environment that may be harmful. 
and that in turn by the time fall comes around this person may have self-sabotaged so much that they may just disappear from the workforce and you never see them again it may be that dramatic so they may fall away but just keep your aries hard work ethic in place keep it intact um, consistency breeds results that's what you need to pay attention to don't try to patch up that old holy boat okay just buy a new one metaphorically speaking but for some of you that may apply directly if you're thinking about trying to fix an old boat it might be better to just throw it away and get a new one or salvage it go to the salvage yard <laughs> and I'm getting if some of you Aries watching are artists that might be a good thing to get salvaged works of art and reappropriate them or repurpose them into your work there's a lot of recycling energy going around in this time of mercury retrograde so retrograde is all about repurposing reformatting uh reorganizing checking all your bases going over things re-editing uh, but i'm getting particularly for some of you if you are a physical like a sculptor or an artist who's very physical and uses metal uh, a lot in their work um, go to the salvage yard. You never know what you might find. And get rid of that old boat if it's a literal boat that you're thinking of rehabbing because it's not going to work. It's going to be a money pit and you're going to re resent it and regret it. It will be a bad idea. Once Mercury retrograde goes direct on August 1st, you'll be feeling a lot better. Actually, around July 31st, you'll start feeling the effects if you're aware of it and um, paying attention and things will get smoothed away a lot faster. And then that Aries energy will really speed up. And in the fall, I'm getting for Aries, a lot of you are gonna be, it's gonna be the fruition of a lot of projects you've been working on or a project you've been singularly focused on. We'll have a lot of things around it that are accumulating like marketing, production, the things that promote the project or projects will be in action. And it's gonna be a fair, there's gonna be a whirlwind energy by the time August, September rolls around. You'll start feeling the effects around about August 10th or so. Going into September, things will really speed up. I'm seeing a lot of positive thumbs up stars everywhere, if that's relevant for you. And you're gonna have a good time. You're gonna have a good time. So this nuisance or, or annoying thing that's happening to you in the workplace right now is just momentary. It's just a bump in the road. And Aries, you have all the signs can roll with it. So I'm really proud of you for some reason. I don't know why, but I'm just proud. I'm proud of Aries in general for just being able to roll with it. Nothing gets to them really. So for them to really be affected by something like that is really saying something. So it must be a pretty toxic environment if it's really affecting you right now. But Aries, just be that ram. Just, you know, keep your persistence, keep your stamina at full make sure you drink your veggies eat your veggies however you ingest veggies uh get plenty of sleep and don't forget to drink plenty of water it's really hot out there right now in the northern hemisphere so do with that what that will and enjoy yourselves oh and if there's some occultists there uh watching um blessed be uh don't let your studies terrorize you either they're saying that there's neither good nor bad if you're walking the middle path and um, it's all in how you use it and how you choose to accept or receive the information aries always want to be the winner of everything and the occult isn't really like that when you're studying the occult it's really more of an internal thing so the only person you're competing with really is, at the end of the day is yourself just remind yourself it's not a competition okay you don't win the best occultist award um but if you practice your craft you will do well okay if you do it responsibly and with open eyes and ears for those with eyes to see and ears to hear will understand what i mean in that regard okay and that's about it for now just stay clean stay sober and i mean that emotionally as well don't let toxic feelings um poison your um ecosystem your emotional ecosystem okay and you're gonna do great uh i like aries you're you're fun and you never say die and you have a wonderful spirit so enjoy this the rest of this month and the beginning of august you're gonna have a good time and as soon as mercury goes direct wow watch the accolades fly because they're all coming straight for you take care you're gonna be the star at the office it'll be great take care